What's up, guys? It's me, YK, we're seeing we're back again with another video. And I know my upload schedule has been terrible, but this weekend will be your saving grace because that is when we have the Tekken 8 closed network test. I will be playing. Um, finally, I missed last week because of the Indian Master event, and that's something I do want to talk about a lot in this video. Um, but first and foremost, I'll be finally getting my hands on Tekken 8 while rank pause. Um, and yeah, I'm very excited for that. Obviously, you guys can tell how excited I am for that. Um, also, today is going to be a talky video, and I apologize for that. There's not been much gameplay videos for a while. Excuse me, for a while now. Um, so I'll probably be putting some gameplay over this, some old gameplay that I have somewhere sitting around in my archives. Um, yeah, because I think you guys at least deserve to see some KWIS gameplay. It's been a long time. It's been a minute, but I'm sure you guys are enjoying listening to me talk as well, right? You know, no one's had any super complaints about that, I guess. Um, but yeah, Tekken 8. I'm so excited to finally play Tekken 8 Hwarang. Um, while I was when I was away in India, I avoided all Tekken 8 Hwarang content. Um, if I saw someone, I was watching a lot of streams. If I saw someone streaming, they're playing against Hwarang, I turned it off. If they were playing Hwarang, I turned it off because uh, I want to discover everything for myself. And obviously, I'll be streaming as well, so you guys can tap into the stream as well. Um, I'll be uploading as many videos as I can, getting as much as I can. Um, I'll be playing a lot of Hwarang. Leroy is another character I want to explore as well. I didn't see many people playing Leroy. That's another character. I want to play Jin. He looks so cool. Law. Jack. Jack looks insane. I don't know if you guys are taking a look at any of Anakin's content. I recommend going to his, his YouTube as well. Um, and just taking a look at his Jack content. Because the character looks insane. Um, I'm excited to play Jack. Joe Crush as well. Doing a lot of crazy shit with Jack. Um, he posted mainly on Twitter. So check out Joe Crush's Twitter. Um, there was a lot uh, to, to take in. Claudio looks insane as well. That's another character I'll be playing. Um, and yeah, I just think it's going to be it's going to be insane. I'm so happy to finally, finally play Tekken 8 Huang. That's the main thing I'm looking forward to. Um, as I stream as well, like if anyone tries to like spoil anything for me, like, oh, Huang has this, by the way, I'm going to ban you so fast. Like I just want to learn this stuff for myself. I want to keep it like because I've been streaming this week as well. I've been getting a lot of like questions and people saying, oh, do you know what this Huang is, etc, etc. Like, no, I want to I want to learn all this shit for myself get in myself because i'm just so excited uh, i'm like a kid right now like it's just so insane for me to think i can finally play second eight warrior he looked so good um and just in general the other characters as well like i'm excited to try out some in the cast and um, i'll be streaming as much as i am physically able to this weekend um like i'll be taking i'll have a few breaks from there because i have some obligations to to still fill out so obviously i won't be streaming the entire weekend the entire 72 or how many hours is also a maintenance as well um but i'll be excited also be a chance to finally test out the cross play i wonder how cross play works um for second eight um it's be interesting as the first time we've had cross play in second but it's working in street fire guilty gear etc etc so it's finally come over to Tekken. so i'll be excited to see yeah, how they make that work it's not something i'm particularly um interested in like most people i play on play on pc um there's a like, very few players i want to play on other platforms but if it makes it so games are more consistent later on because right now playing Tekken 7 finding games is so difficult if crossplay was something to fix that great um and it's obviously something that other people want as well because they have friends on different platforms so it's not it's always something i've never particularly wanted myself but i'm happy if it is there for other people because you know it's, it's not all about me there's other people playing this game as well so I, i'm happy that other people are getting that and if they have players on cross platform they have, have friends on other platforms they can finally play them so excited for that as well but yeah it's the final uh closed network test uh it'll be so i'm i'm sad that i only get this one to play but at least i do get to play i'm happy enough uh, i was blessed enough to be able to get a code i know the code situation right now is not fantastic i do want to do a video talking about that because as much as i want to say positive things about tekken 8 right now there are a lot of negatives um over the past few weeks or so that i kind of want to touch on like first and foremost uh, my video you see this is the thing that's annoying i get people talk about me i get a lot of stuff out of context people like don't take the context of what i say and then i just get lambasted for it and it's something that's really annoying like i'll give you an example so i got this uh screenshot sent to me uh from a tekken discord i don't know whether it was the tekken 8 discord or tekken's i bought to i don't know but I, either way like people just say a lot of dumb shit about me uh regardless and someone said this is when i made my video talking about is it disappointing being a tekken fan right now which was a video that was just a genuine discussion video it wasn't me making a absolute 
uh judgment it wasn't me saying that yes it is disappointing it was me having a discussion because i saw a tweet and i wanted to bring that discussion to my stream and to my comment section as well and talk about it uh, but i saw this uh basically the main thing was about that like, marketing and how street fighter 6 got really well and mortal kombat is, is doing so much as well and as a tekken fan do we feel jealous like that like it was me posing a question more than anything not making an absolute statement we had this street fighter 6 communication was silent for months before release an mk1 reveal mk fans had nothing going on no dlc to mk11 no world tour i'm surprised he's so many ignorance on reddit i'm surprised that even someone like kwiss is ignorant and i found that weird because that wasn't the case for like a lot of the stuff like Street Fighter 6 and MK like that wasn't the situation like I was staying tapped into a lot of it uh, which is why I'm comparing the two uh, in the video and talking about that and again it wasn't even my original comparison that was the comparison from the tweet as well and again it wasn't my final judgment uh, which is that what I find so but I saw a lot of this um, this is probably one of the most tame uh, comments that I saw regarding this but like people send me screenshots on Reddit uh in in the tech and discord etc etc that well, k was is an idiot for saying this like blah 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 blah. um but i think even even if you you don't believe that it's disappointing to be a tech fan right now and i don't i i certainly don't think so um you can't help but look at the other side and feel a little uh you can't feel disappointed sometimes for example we had the san diego comic-con uh panel that happened this was while i was in india and they invited Mike Tyson, Chris Cyborg, and Xavier Woods. They made the like, Bad and esports and everything. They're making these posts about it. They're like, who's going to join the fight? There was that tweet with like the door and everything. And people were like, okay, what's character? We're expecting character, rule, right? And it's like an hour long panel. They're just talking. And then there was no trailer. There was no reveal. There was no nothing at all. And obviously, that is disappointing because they're hyping this trailer up. You invited Mike Tyson. Like you invite these huge, you know, combat sports and uh, sports entertainment personalities on uh, some of the best in their field. And you're expecting some kind of big reveal. Okay, like who are they? People are, oh, it's going to be Steve. It's going to be Steve. And then there was nothing. So yes, it, that is disappointing. And then you move on from that. Uh, the next panel after was Mortal Kombat. And then Mortal Kombat showed like three trailers, something they showed their entire like uh, first season of DLC, Homelander, Omni Man, uh, fucking John Cena. I know it's not, I know it's Peacemaker, but it is fucking John Cena. Uh, I think Takeda, Quan Chi, and Ermac as well. Uh, I'm very excited for Quan Chi, by the way. Um, he hasn't been in a game since like Mortal Kombat 10, I think. Um, and he's always been like a super cool character, so I'm excited for that. But like, yeah, I mean, you know, I know it's apples to oranges, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera, but yes, you do look at the other side sometimes, and it does feel a little bit disappointing. However, you know, we still are in a situation where we have our closed network test, we have our betas, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. I think Mortal Kombat's beta um, is going to be next month. I mean, this isn't even officially a beta as well. Harada's been saying that multiple times. This isn't a beta. This is a closed network test uh, type beat. So, like, it's it's the fact of the matter is like, yes, sometimes it can be disappointing being a Tekken fan. Second seven is in a terrible well i don't want to say terrible state that's being doom and gloom it's in it it's a it's not the best day right now for me personally if i hop on the game and i want to play ranked i have to wait ages in between games it's so hard the balance for the game is still an issue akuma is a problem you know feng is a problem like and it's like you know we it's kind of radio silent when it comes to those type of things i understand it's all all hands on deck for tekken 8 however they did mention uh, about the other companies stepping in to help with Tekken 7 balancing and online netcode, etc, etc. So it does feel, on some level, disappointing. But again, like, there's just, I don't know. I think it's the fact of the matter is, it's no matter what I say, someone is gonna, is gonna take the part that fits their narrative and then use that as a way to have more anti k propaganda and shit. Like, it does get very tiring, be me, I can't lie. Uh, but what doesn't get tiring is uh, going to tournaments, going to events, going to mass events, because this past weekend in India was absolutely uh, amazing. The Indian Tekken community really and truly is such a passionate uh, community. Like you get there, you know, for, for me as well, it was such a warm welcome for all the, you know, the top play, the international players that traveled out, like everyone, I think will be saying the exact same thing. Everyone was so nice. Everyone was so welcoming. You know, the moment you, you know, a lot, a lot of people are like just, just, just fans of the game and of these players in general, like so many players were just, walking up to RK okay, West, lovely to meet you, so happy to have you, you know, etc, etc. Like, obviously, because this was a big moment for them, the first Masters event 
that happened in India. They were very happy to have it. You could see that they definitely deserved it. They worked hard. Um, they did their, their best to make the tournament run as smoothly as possible as well. Yes, there were hiccups. There's hiccups to every single fucking tournament. Um, but, you know, hearing from other players as well that competed, that, you know, the setups were not that laggy. They worked very hard on that to make sure it was a, just a good experience for the players. Um, and I think it was a very players first approach. They did a great job. Um, and yeah, honestly, loved it. Amazing being out there. Food was amazing. I didn't, it wasn't until like the final two days I was really eating like Indian food and shit, but like that shit is like, I, I think there was a final night when we, I went out with some of the, uh, locals and then Seth Black and Tetsu and just eating a bunch of just like random, just like they'll put a platter on the table and I was like, try this, try this, try this. And like, that was just, that was, that was definitely a night to remember. Um, so I had a, I had a great time out there hopefully india gets a, a master event next year as well but personally i do have i do have gripes for this tecmo tour um i do feel like this tour definitely needs to be longer um so and with that with that as well you can incorporate more master events and more challenge events etc etc so you know when next year because there are a lot of events on this or uh, on this tecmo tour that were not uh, that should have been that are normally master events for example you know you have burden second clash which is supposed to be a master event in, in 2020 not on the tour this year so it's like I hope a longer tour next year so therefore you can have more master events so india can keep their master event they don't have to trade it with another tournament coming back etc etc because i think an uh uh um, community as passionate as this one definitely deserves a master and they definitely deserve to keep it they worked very hard and they did end up getting an indian player in top eight as well pratap so i am very excited to see what the future holds for this community very passionate um i will extend a huge thank you to everyone out there that was just so welcoming uh just friendly kind it was just an amazing event to be i'm very happy i'm very blessed i was able to be out there and um, would have loved to compete but being as a as a commentator and just experiencing the community um was just just insane just a truly dedicated community of players um it's a very interesting players as well because their play style a lot of things for example one player that definitely caught my eye out there was yoshi killer uh, definitely someone I hope gets to travel more because you know I think he's someone that could do a lot of damage with the way he plays that character so yeah I had a great time out there I uh, would love to do it again and yeah that is why I couldn't play the first Tekken 8 closed network test but next week or this week tomorrow in fact I'll be starting my stream as well like bright and early probably something like half 8 a.m tomorrow I'll be starting my stream uh just so I can be bright and early and ready and be there the moment the network test goes live and it just dive on in um, i'm so excited for that um yeah thank you guys for watching this video thank you guys for putting up with my uh inconsistent content as well i'll be doing as much as i can to record content um in general i have a lot of videos in the backlog because next week is evo so i'll be away for that so i'm hoping i have at least videos edited so i can upload while i'm gone or i have i have uh stuff recorded so i can edit the videos while i'm out there um i'll do my best to facilitate that as much as possible i do feel like i've been stacking a lot with content i feel very bad about that so i'll be doing my best for you guys so thank you guys for watching this video please like comment subscribe if you enjoyed it and i'll catch you guys in the next video